Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Romney and if you are new here, hello and a welcome. So today we are gonna do an eye look using some dark greens. I'm gonna prime my eye using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. It looks a little bit, looks a bit dry and crusty. Is that supposed to look like that? Oh. It's in my eyelashes. I don't know whether it's supposed to look like that or not. Let me. Oh my god. Right, let me. It's gone like. Feels a little bit like Vaseline. I don't think it's supposed to do that, is it? So, this isn't a primer that has any coverage or any colour correction. It's slightly tacky a bit scared now okay so for this look we are going to use the Jacqueline oh my goodness the Jacqueline Hill palette we're going to use these dark greens this lighter green and a couple of the browns as well like that brown there um, and I think I'm going to originally go in with this brown here. So I'm trying to stick to just the one palette just because I hate dipping into several palettes. So I'm going to dip into this one which is Silk Cream. It's just going to go in the crease. So I'm sat at my window. So we've got some natural light. Oh my lord, what is that? Look at her. <laughs> so I didn't set this base, popping it into the crease and blending it up. So as you can see, that primer doesn't get rid of any of your veining or anything like that. Toying with taking this off because there bothers me. Just in that little crease bit there, you can see freckles, you can see veins you can see everything i know hold on two seconds okay so i am back we are changing it up just a tad so i'm just going to keep that smashbox studio uh smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer on this eye and i'm going to put what i would normally use as my primer which is the revolution conceal and define um, in this is the shade C1 and I will just pat a little bit of that I do usually like to blend this out with a sponge um, so I'm going to blend this out with a fluffy brush wow now I look crazy that's far too much and I like to let that set itself for a little bit okay and then I'm just going to go in over this just with this wet um the same color silk cream and because it's still wet i stamp it on the grips onto it and then blend it out okay so you definitely can't see my veins anymore this one versus this one this one you can see a lot of your vein your veins nope they're mine okay so the next color i'm going to go in with this color which is called jada whoa i don't think i've ever used this, this shade okay so i'm just gonna stamp that brush to be honest it's fine though it's fine so just stamping that and blending it through just above the crease into that cream silk shade I do uh, oh, I'm gonna do more of a halo way yes right let's just do this side so just dipping in
I rode that quite hard then, didn't I? <laughs> Not actually that much different. But now that I've put that darker shade on, you can't... It's still that... Bit just there. It looks like a little bit of dry skin. Alright, I'm just going to go in with this shade, Enchanted. That's just going to go on a pencil brush and I'm just going to darken out the outer and inner. And then once there's nothing on it, just gently join together. And then you can just go back in with that big fluffier brush, just nothing else on it, and just soften. Like I went a little bit too much there. I'm just going to wiggle that in there. My phone's ringing. Right, where was I? It's wiggling it there, just where I was slightly heavy handed, just in that corner. Picking up a lot less this time. We are going in with, are we going in with this? Dark, all bright. Oh no! Originally I just wanted to go dark green, didn't I? Or do I go brown? Or oh, copper, whatever it is. Oh no. Right, I'll stick with what I originally wanted to. So this shade is Diva. Uh, this shade here. So I'm going to go straight in with my finger. If you want to focus. Yay. Actually... So that's Meeks. Let's do that on the other eye. And then pan it back out again. Just on the edges, just to blend them together. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with that pencil brush. And that is it enchanted. And just re... Redefine cut crease. I don't know what you would call that. This eye... I think actually looks better than this eye. Whether it's just because I'm better at doing this eye, this side, rather than over this side. Right, I'm just going to go and wash my phalanges. So I tried this before. It's the LA Girl Neon Eyeliner in Gotcha. I tried it before. It didn't work. I'm going to... Sorry, my chair is not pulled in. <laughs> That's why. Uh, it has worked a little bit. I do think it's a little bit bright green. Mm, no. You know what? I'm going to use a brown. So this isn't a gel one, so it doesn't go on your waterline at all. Well, see, that changes what I would like to do. I would probably like to go in with a brown, with some of those darker browns. I don't like the green. Let me put some brown on this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to go in with well, this shade here, which is Central Park. That's just going on the pencil brush, and I'm just going to run that over that liner. Okay, and then in with that original first brush, I'm going to go back in with that cream silk. Going from here... Blending that right out. I'm going to go in with like a flat brush like that. I'm going to dab into that dark brown again and just go right up to the lash line. Like that. I'm going to stamp some of that dark brown right in that corner. Just to join them two together. You see there's a gap there. So just going to Stamp it in there. Just to join them together a little bit more. And now I'm going to dip in to the shade Beam. Which is this one here. And that is just going on 
my brow bone the very highest point just there and my inner corner which you know where your inner corner is it's there I love to swirl it around get loads of it in there okay I'm gonna go and put some mascara and some lashes on and I will be right back god damn it I just poked myself in the eye with the mascara fabulous great love that for me okay so i popped on some mascara and some lashes the lashes are house of lashes don't know why i'm showing you that it's an empty box because the lashes are on my eyeballs they're the house of lashes siren minis so we'll just um give this mascara a few seconds to dry and then i will remove that so anyway this is the finished eye look um i honestly don't see much of a difference i mean i could be wrong but that one compared to that one i don't see much of a difference between the concealer and the smashbox eye primer um i thought that originally the smashbox eye primer didn't cover any of the veins the freckles anything like that so i kind of wimped out a little bit there and was like oh i need to get some coverage so that's why we did the concealer on this side but i don't think let me get, let me get close no no different i haven't done the rest of my face look oh i've got a big spot there as well so i will hide the rest of my face for for the time being Right, let's see if I can get rid of this mascara. Brush it away. Let me just touch up and then with this one just to make sure it's all nice. Okay, so this is uh, the finished look, a dark green. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all love this eye look. I do enjoy a green. We did this all with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye.